Hello, Wiggle Worms people. This is Teresa from the Jonesville Public Library. We're going to be starting a new place for Wiggle Worms. We're going to be moving to YouTube. So this is the first time that I'm doing it. Shayla did it last week. So I'm going to read you a couple books about birds. We'll also be doing it on Facebook Live a little bit later at our regular time. But start looking for us on YouTube. Okay, the first book I'd like to read to you is titled Sleepy Bird. It's written by Jeremy Tankard and it's published by Scholastic. So we really thank Scholastic for letting us read the, their books. Okay, and if you're like me, you might still be a little sleepy today. Let's find out about Sleepy Bird. It was bedtime, but Bird was not ready to go to sleep. So are you like that too? I'm kind of a night owl. His wings wanted to flap. His legs wanted to run. All of him wanted to play. Wee, said Bird, it's party time. You feel like that when it's time to go to bed? Fox was getting cozy when he heard Bird coming. Goodness, said Fox, that's a lot of noise for bedtime. I'm not tired, said Bird. Maybe if you hug my blankie, said Fox, it helps me to get sleepy. Blanky smanky, said Bird. Let's play. You think Fox wants to play? Fox was too sleepy to play, so Bird went to find Beaver. It's bedtime, Bird, said Beaver. Bedtime is for babies, said Bird. How about I read you a story, said Beaver. How about you don't, said Bird. He tapped Beaver on the arm. Tag, you're it. Okay, you can see that the... Um, Bear is reading a book, or the beaver, excuse me, is reading a book, and he doesn't want to play, does he? Bird ran to Rabbit's house, but Beaver didn't follow. He's still sitting there reading his books. Everybody says it's bedtime, said Bird, but I'm not tired. Want to snuggle my stuffed kitty, said Rabbit? A stuffed cat, said Bird. Are you trying to give me nightmares? Because you all know that cats like to eat birds. Bird went to find Raccoon. Raccoon, said Bird, you'll play with me, right? It's bedtime, said Raccoon. I'm going to sing a soft lullaby and drift off to sleep. But you're nocturnal, said Bird. Why won't anyone play? And nocturnal's a big word. It means that you stay up at night and sleep during the day. Bird flounced over to Sheep's place. You know what you need, said Sheep. New friends, suggested Bird. You need to count sheep, said Sheep. That always helps me fall asleep. And you can see that Sheep's counting sheep in his head. But there's only one of you, shouted Bird. How can you get sleepy counting to one? But you can see Sheep's already counted at least two. And look how angry Bird was. Bird stormed off. That means he kind of stomped. If no one would play with him, he would just walk forever. Uh-oh, you think he can walk forever? There's the moon. After a little while, his wings drooped, his legs crumpled. I'm not tired, he cried. Why should I go to sleep? Uh-oh, you think he might be getting tired after all? Bird's friend heard his cries and came running. See, they're afraid something happened to him. Fox covered Bird with his blankie. Beaver read a story. Rabbit tucked his stuffed kitty under Bird's wing. Raccoon sang a quiet song. And she counted herself until she got to one more time than she could count. I am not sleepy, mumbled Bird as his eyes closed. You can see he's all cuddled up with the blanket and he's getting the stuffed kitty. Finally, said his friends, I thought he'd never fall asleep, said Fox. And you can see that he's snoring. He's got the zzz. And there's the kitty under the blanket. They lay down near Bird and slept too. And you can see all their zigs. Everybody's asleep. Bird ro rolled over. He opened his eyes. He yawned and he stretched. Oh no, that was a quick nap, wasn't it? He's waking up. Hiya, said Bird. Who wants to play? Oh no, look, they're all waking up really fast. So 
maybe you want to listen to this, this book at night before you go to sleep, but then it might wake you up at the end. Okay, one more book I'd like to read is titled One Dark Bird. It's written by Liz Garten Scanlon, and it's illustrated by Fran Preston Gannon, and it is published by Simon & Schuster. So we thank Simon & Schuster for letting us read this book. And look at all these dark birds. You may have seen some birds like this in the sky. And let me tell you a little about the birds that it's talking about. It says, starlings are shiny, darkly feathered birds that are fast flyers and very social. Sometimes when starlings are startled or threatened, they come together to form a mermutation, a single seeming mass that performs coordinated acrobatic dances in the sky. A mermutation can number in the hundreds of thousands of birds, and it's quite a sight to see. So when you look up and see lots and lots of black birds flying, that's probably starlings. Okay, and this is a good counting book too. It says, one dark bird perched way up high, a view of town, a taste of sky. Two birds more come winging by, then three, then four flights multiply. And there's a little cat up on top of the roof watching the starlings. Five more swoop around a cloud, warble whistle join the crowd. Six soar brightly, seven sweep. Eight will sing the sun to sleep. Then nine, then ten, from who knows where, till starling sounds fill up the air. A hundred here and there and there, fine feathered friends with sky to spare. And you can see they fill up the sky. But suddenly they're all alert, dangerous near, and flights divert, and it, the word divert means they have to go all different places. They wheel away from hunting hawk. Single birds become a flock, and you can see how they're flying up and down. Waves like water, dark then light, from down to up, then left to right, and you can see how they're kind of swooping. A rush, a murmur, out turns in, a dot to dot, a corks grew thin. And look how they made that circle. Flapping fervor, noisy clutch, they dance together without touch. And isn't it amazing how they don't run into each other when they're zooming and flying around? Until it's over, falls apart, each flies alone, like at the start. Hundreds here, and then good night. They fall, excuse me, they fly away with evening's light. And you can see it's starting to get dark. There's the moon and some stars till just a few float loose and free. 10 birds settle in a tree. You can see they're on different branches. Nine light land here up on the power line and eight dive there down to the ground. Seven swing in still sweet air. There's a little girl looking out the window watching them. Six sing softly, five just sigh. Four, then three, then two, goodbye. And there's that cat still sitting up on the roof, even though it's dark and the lights are coming on. One last bird perched way up high, a view of town, a taste of sky. And you can see that bird's looking like it's going to sleep too. I think it had an easier time going to sleep than Sleepy Bird did. So I hope you enjoyed those two books, and we'll be back with Wiggle Worms on Facebook Live at 10. So I'll see you there a little bit later. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.